What's going on? Welcome back to Father the Six. I am the General. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to jump right into it. What is a role model? A role model. Um, I think this is important. This is coming from the heart, man. Because um, when when I first became a father, I, mean, I knew I was a father, and that's another story. Um, like every dad is thinking this, at least for the most part. Like, how can I be the best dad, the best father for my child, for my children? What can I do, like my own dad? What can I do, like better than my dad? What can I do just to be a dad, a father, right? And you start thinking about how you can be this great dad, right? What you can do, what you shouldn't do, the things that you've um, experienced, the things that, you know, you've seen your friends, if you have other friends who are fathers, and just you start thinking about all the dads in your life and you know, picking a part of the good things that they've done in the past and then that you observed and picking apart the bad things that you've seen or the things you may not even like. You start thinking differently. And this is all the creation of being a role model as a father, right? So as I dig into what's a role model, I'm going to dig in from my perspective. Um, sharing my personal perspective on the matter of what a role model is. So let's jump right in. Um, Father the Six, I am the general. Thank you for tuning in. Um, who am I? <laughs> I'm a father to six children, three girls, three boys. I'm also um, a life coach. Um, I coach people through life. <laughs> what type of life? Um, professional, personal, spiritual, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, hit me up with all my services. Most importantly, I'm an inspirationalist. An inspirationalist, someone who inspires you to do something. And for me, great. What I want to inspire you to do, I want to inspire you to be the best version of yourself um, by sharing experiences from me, from those who shared experiences with me, and from my outlook and perspective of life. What is a role model? So I already told you as soon as I became a father. I became a role model. But I feel like being a role model came for me before that because I was always a leader growing up. Shout out to Brooklyn. Brooklyn, stand up. You know what I mean? Running the streets of Ralph Ave between the Atlantic and Pacific. You know what I mean? Bed Stuy do a die, Earp Man. <laughs> Running the streets of Utica in the 50s, Utica and Church. Shout out to the 50s crew. Ain't no crew, but you know what I mean? East Flatbush. Running around in KP. You know what I mean? Running around in Sheep's Head Bay. Running around all in New York. You know, I was I was a leader. Someone that people looked up to, my peers looked up to. And being a role model don't necessarily mean that you're a good role model. Because a lot of role models in where I lived at in Brooklyn, they weren't necessarily good role models. They may have good qualities in them. But the overall message of what they was trying to display wasn't good. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't want my kids to follow them. You know, now that I'm an adult. You know what I mean? Thinking about, like, nah, they're not good role models, right? So, I'll always be been a role model. And then, you know, some that, that's, for, that's, a, that's for a lot of us, right? And you, when you're a role model, it doesn't mean that... I don't feel like it means that you're a role model in every aspect. You know what I mean? Because ain't nobody got it all together. You know what I mean? So when you think about role models, right? Do you, a lot of times we think about, oh, this person's perfect, right? Like the leader of a church, right? The pastor of the church, right? They the role model for the congregation, right? The ministers. But they be going through stuff too, right? Everybody go through. And then when they go through, they get pushed off the pedestal. So I want to redefine and reshape what a role model is. A role model is not a perfect person. It's someone that you look up to um, who serves as a good example, a good example to others, okay? And like I said, role models could be good or bad, right? But the main thing about a role model who serves as a good example 
um, they inspire people to think, behave, achieve, and succeed in a certain way. Role models have a significant impact on people's lives by shaping their attitudes, behaviors, and choices. Role models. Role models, they embody the values and characteristics of others that that people admire and strive to emulate, to copy. They embody those values, like become one with, right? <laughs> it's not like I'm speaking biblical over here. <laughs> Role models can come from many different walks of life, right? You got your public figures, like your athletes, celebrities and leaders. And you know what? A lot of these celebrities, athletes and leaders don't even ask to be role models, right? And then on the other hand, you have your everyday person like me, uh, you know what I mean? Um, people who not in the spotlight, you know what I mean? Yes, I'm an influencer, you know? I'm starting out, I'm not a celebrity, right? You got people like, everyday people like your teachers in school who touch hundreds of kids, thousands of kids a day. Shout out to the educators. You got parents who are role models to their kids. Parents like me, like you, right? Mentors, right? You ever had a mentor in your life? Shout out to the mentors, right? Someone who's a role model. A mentor is a role model. Other family members, right? It's family members of my family. I'm like, yeah, you know, when I was little, I want to be like them. I want to be like that. To include mom and dad, right? Yeah, of course, you always want to be like a mom and dad. But I'm talking about other than your mom and dad. Maybe it's big sis. Like, yeah, she doing the thing, man. I want to be just like her. Big bro, you know, you know, he doing the thing, bro. Like, I want to be like him. Maybe it's not big sis or big bro. Maybe it's little bro, little sis. That's that's rocking and rocking it out there. You know what I mean? Shout out to the, the younger siblings out there that's doing the thing. And they the role models. Right? Because role models don't necessarily have an age to it. Right? I don't have to be old and wise to be a role model. Right? I don't have to be this age or this gender and this profession or you know what I mean? No, because a role model is somebody who serves as an example to others. What example are you looking for? You'll find that role model, right? So family, what about friends? You might have a dope friend, yo, you know what I mean? Homeboy, homegirl, like, yo, they just doing the thing. They just killing the game, you know what I mean? They just, everything they do is, is great. They could be your role model. Maybe you befriended someone because they doing so great and you became friends. Members of the community, right? When I say community, it could be the area you live in, right? Yeah. What about if you're in college? That community. Whatever community you in, right? It could be members of those group of people in that environment. The environment you spend the most in. That could be called a community, so to speak. Um, social media influencers like me, right? Can be role models. So these are just examples of role models. Spotlights, not in the spotlights. Public figures, not in the public figures. Everyday people, role models. Right? But the common factor with all the role models is that they possess qualities that others find worthy, admirable of imitation. So with that said, how do you become a role model, right? And do you just sign up and be like, I'm gonna sign up, I'm a role model now, right? Do you just walk into it? Like, do somebody say you a role model? Right. So I think it's many different ways or it's different ways to become a role model. And I think it's number one is the decision in yourself. Right. To say, you know what? I want to be a role model. That's one way. Another way is your position. Where you position in life, because as you move into different positions, those positions come with the title of role model. Right. So a lot of celebrities be like, I'm not just I'm not your role model right athletes i'm not your role model i'm just here to do my job but with that position you become someone that people use as an example you get what i'm saying so now you are the example 
based upon your position and what you're doing. You, you dig? So you could become a role model through volunteering. Like, you know what? I'm going to be a role model. I'm going to be the example. I'm going to do everything that I need to do the best way I can do it and show people that, hey, this can be done. Or through your position, right? Whatever position you're in life where you are uh, in a place where people can observe you, right? And based upon your actions, right, you become an example to them. So sometimes you don't even know you become a role model at times, right? You don't even know. You know what I mean? And you're like, man, I need a role model myself. And now I'm in a role model. Can you be a premature role model? Ooh, that's deep. Come on, y'all. Let's get let's get into it. Can you be a premature role model? Because like, think about it, like my young bucks, my young insets coming into the game and they're reaching these positions of leadership or uh, or exposure, position of exposures, right? They're being exposed to the masses and they're like, I'm just doing me, I don't, I, don't, I need help myself. And now they become the example for others and now they become role models just off voluntold, right? They're like, man, I'm just trying to figure it out myself. How am I a role model now? And I'm, now I gotta do the right thing or whatnot. I don't know what the right thing is, right? So premature role models, right? So that's another thing. Um, when we think about role models, we often focus on the positive qualities that they possess, such as their strong work ethics. Now going back to my, my athletes and my celebrities, you know what I mean? People who are in the game, and I say the game, whatever game it is that you're in, and I'm using game, you know, like for instance, sports, music industry, um, whatever it is that you do, that's your game. The thing that you play all the time, the thing that you do all the time, right? So, um, let me just back up. When we think about role models, we often think about the positive qualities that we possess, such as strong work ethics, right? Um, perseverance and integrity. However, it's also important to also recognize the influential qualities of a negative role model such as dishonesty. And remember I was talking about the negative role models that was in my neighborhood? But yeah, dis dishonesty was one. Selfishness to an extent, right? Um, lack of ambition, right? And these are just three. And I don't wanna highlight the negative aspects of role models, but I wanna dive deeper into the positive aspects of role models. So like this discussion right here, this lecture, as I'm gonna call it, is going to cover um, some of the more common factors among, yeah, both negative and positive role models. But I'm going to focus more on the positive light also. While shedding the light on the qualities that inspire us to be the best of ourselves. The best of ourselves. And those that we should avoid in order to reach our full potential. Okay? So, influential qualities that make positive role models inspiring to others and these are not in, in, in order of priority all right so i'm just you know I, I took notes and the things i was coming up with i'm like you know I'm just, this is good right here and i i ain't putting them in order but these are the things or qualities that make a positive role model inspiring to others right so maybe you like i want to be a role model or i don't know how to be a role model right what things do I need to do to become a role model? Oh, tune on in, because I got a lot right here, boy. All right? And I'm not saying that, you know, once I go through this, you need to be every one of these at the right away. No, this is self-improvement, right? Self-development, right? So I'm working on myself in the sections that I need working on. Like, I ain't even got all this all the way. I still, you know, and it's, it's, it's difficult because we're not perfect, right? So let me jump into it. Integrity. Integrity. I was in the morning course, the first thing they teach is integrity, right? Doing the right thing, even when no one's looking. Are you doing the right thing even though no one's looking? Integrity. It's a crucial quality that a role model should possess. It involves being honest, respectful, and consistent in all aspects of life to include when no one is looking 
role models with integrity do what they say and they say what they do let me let me say that again role models with integrity do what they say and they say what they do and they always stand up for what's right what they believe is right even when it's difficult that's how you know somebody with integrity like nah i can't even sit here and watch this nah uh uh-uh hey hey bruh says what you doing over there nah nah stop that right now you ever caught yourself like i'm I'm that guy you know what i mean i see some kids on the street doing something wrong hey 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 nah i can't just ride by uh hey hey what y'all doing over there you better cut that out one time man coming from mom duke's house in the morning time you know running a quick errand for moms and um i seen a group of kids you know at least like 10 of them walking towards this other kid well, you know, look like a fight from Brooklyn. So I already know what a fight looked like. I know. So, you know, I'm like, oh, what's going on? This don't look right. Pulled over. Hey, what, what, what the hell going on out here? What y'all doing? Oh, we about to fight her. Fight her? Oh, y'all about to fight this girl right here? Nah. It was, it was boys too, middle school. Y'all better get y'all back up. Made the young lady call her moms. You know what I mean? Let her mom know what's going on. Like, y'all don't even think she should be riding this bus today. You know what I mean? So, mom dudes took care. Her moms took care of it. And, you know, she went back home. But integrity, doing the right thing. I didn't do that for clout. I did it because it was the right thing to do. You know what I mean? I'm not about to pass by. Like, a lot of times people, oh, they ain't my kids. You know what I mean? And it's scary sometimes because a lot of these kids, you know what I mean? Depending on what area you in, they, they packing. You know what I mean? Like, shut up, old man. Shut up. Buh, 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 buh. You know what I mean? But what you feel is right i felt like i'm not passing this by and i see this girl in the news or just i got kids i want somebody to pull over if they see something and my kid is around right so integrity doing the right thing even though even when no one's looking even when no one's looking even when it's difficult standing up for what's right next courage 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 and Integrity go hand in hand. Because you have to have courage in order to execute integrity. Doing the things when doing something that's right, standing up for something that's right, even when it's difficult, it takes courage. So courage is often displayed as bravery in the face of adversity. So to break it down like courage, like when I was in the Marine Corps, they got all these obstacles, nice. They got the rope. You gotta climb up. You know what I mean? I had that in gym class too. I don't know about that, but you gotta have courage to do that. Why am I saying that? Because even when you're scared, that courage kicks in and you just do it anyway, right? So this doesn't necessarily mean physical courage like I'm talking about climbing, right? But it often refers to the willingness. Am I willing to take a risk to stand up for what's right, right? Am I willing, am I going to do it, take the risk to stand up for what's right, to make a tough decision, right? That's that, that's that, that, that fuel that pushes you to execute integrity is the courage. Courage is that fuel, is that monster, you will drink monsters, you know what I mean? <laughs> I used to back in the day, you know what I mean? But it's their courage that serves the examples for others to follow in challenging situations. Like that boy brave boy. You know what I mean? That's in the South. That boy brave boy. He got that courage. Right? So we got integrity, we got courage. Humility. Right? And humility. I'm uh, you know, I'm kind of mixed with humility. You know what I mean? Because if we look at the origin of the word, the etymology of humility, right? It means to bring yourself down. So I'm just gonna use humility in the sense as we using it right now despite the their accomplishments role models tend to stay humble right they don't seek attention or praise for their actions but rather they do what they do because they believe they're doing the right thing right role models don't seek attention or praise for their actions like after i broke that fight up or the potential fight Take that girl back to her house. I ain't go make a post and you know what I mean. Call my mom's like, yo, guess what I did? You know, 
and to get a pat on the back right no that's not what a role model does we ain't seeking attention so if you're seeking attention ask yourself like am i a real role model i'm not doing this to seek attention and if i am i'm not a real role model because it ain't in, it's not in, in me right um the humility humility makes their actions even more admirable and worthy of emulation worth copying it being that you ain't seeking clout make make people want to be like dang i want to i want to be like that dude right there i want to be like that 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 sis right there that sister right there moving on uh, empathy role models are often very understanding and empathetic they're able to put themselves into other people's shoes like put themselves in somebody else's position and see situations from different perspectives a role model can see things from different points of view not just from their point of view right but i can i can lean over here like okay i see it from that position let me lean over here i see it from that position all right let me let me pretend like i'm this person i can okay i see it from their perspective yeah this thing gonna be right right here this understanding allows them to act with kindness and compassion when needed, right? We don't always have to be a beast on people. We don't have to be a killer on everything. Some things need kindness and compassion, acts of kindness and compassion, right? Which are qualities that inspire others. You know, a lot of times people are like, oh, yo, yo, you, yo, you big, bro, because I wouldn't even be that nice to such and such. That happened to me. I wouldn't even be kind like that. Like, I would have did X, Y, and Z. You know, I'm not, you know, I don't play like that. Empathy. Like, I wish I could be like you, bro, because sometimes I go, I go in too hard sometimes. You know what I mean? And you know, it takes work to be empathy, empathetic. It takes work to be kind, to, to be kind and have compassion. But I was telling somebody this the other day. The more you do something, come on now. The more you do something, the better you become at it. So you always being a mean guy, a mean girl, you're going to get better at being mean. But it goes the same way when it comes to kindness. If you're someone who always being kind and compassionate, you get better at being kind and compassionate. So I'm not talking about being so kind and compassionate that you're getting taken advantage of. Holler at me, right? Not that you're taking advantage of, right? Because it's a balance. Because a lot of role models, they learn how to balance the kindness and compassion because they're like, I'm too kind. People be rolling all over me, right? They, they just be rolling all over me. They be doing whatever. And I just can't say no, right? You ever been in a position where you just don't say no? Not that you can't say no, you just don't know how to say no. So you're like, I'm too, I don't want to hurt this person's feelings. You know, it take time to learn how to balance that kindness and compassion. But the one thing I'll, I would say is this. Are you being the most kind and compassionate with yourself? Ooh, that's deep. I'll say it again. Are you being the most kind and compassionate with yourself? And this is how you can create a, a better balance. Is because it's, it's like if I feel like I'm being I'm going overboard, will this extend me outside of my my, my zone, so to speak? I don't want to say comfort level because, you know, we all get that's, I don't, sometimes we have to step out of our comfort zone. But am I too far out of my comfort zone where I'm getting stressed out because I'm too kind? Am I getting stressed out because I'm too compassionate? I need to hit the pause button for the cause for you. So, yeah, kindness and compassion, which are qualities that other people inspire in others people are inspiring others in role models but don't get it twisted i'm not gonna be too kind where i'm breaking myself down and i'm being ran over okay so empathy and it takes time to balance empathy it takes time to to be empathetic balance empathetic right all right moving on to the next one resilience 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 Life can be full of setbacks. 
but role models often display a remarkable ability to bounce back from adversity. And I emphasize bounce back, right? A lot of role models, you know, I'm like, dang, they've been through this. Like, yo, role models, they done been through it, boy. They done been through it. They got stories upon stories upon stories. You're Earth man. Right? But the one thing that, you know, is consistent in a role model is that they always bounce back from every setback. And I'm not saying bouncing back being like, dag on one hour. Oh, I just got this right here. And oh, I'm cool now. <laughs> no. No. Sometimes, depending on what the setback is, it determines the time frame you bouncing back. But the one consistent thing is they bounce back, right? They show us that failure is not the end. They show us that we are not failure and failure is not us, right? It's not the end, but rather it's an opportunity to learn and grow. And I always say this whenever I'm coming, I'll come up with adversity or a setback or a challenge. Like, okay. All right, what did I learn from this? And how can I use this to grow? Right? What did I learn from this? And how can I use this to grow? Okay, cool. I learned this. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to keep doing it until I get it right. Holla at me, boy. I'm going to keep doing it until I get it right. Resilience. And you know what? I ain't going to lie. Sometimes like, yo, bump this, man. I don't even freaking feel like doing this no more, man. I did this like 10 times, two times, three times. Yo, I ain't. But you know what? Like, nah, I ain't going to give up. You know that, that You know that voice. Holla at me if you know that voice. Put it in the comments below if you know that voice. Nah, I ain't giving up. Brooklyn, stand up. We don't, we don't give up. But at the same time, I'm not telling you to keep going at something till you break yourself. Nah, you got to know when, you know what? This ain't for me, right? But being resilient, right? It's a balance. I'm not just like, oh, this ain't for me because it ain't working. No, I'm going to keep pushing, especially if it's a goal of mine, right? So resilience give others the courage to keep going, even when things get tough. Gives you the courage. So in order to get courage, resilience gives you that. It gives others the courage to keep going when they see you being resilient. To keep going, even when things get tough. Resilience. Next, passion. You know, I'm passionate, boy. You know, especially when I be talking about stuff like I'm getting me to talking. So, role models are usually very passionate about what they do. Right, and that's a key sign of a role model in, in, in an area or yeah, area that you you looking for a role model. Are they passionate about what they do? Do they eat, sleep, poop this? You know what I mean? Do they always talk about it? Oh, he's always doing it. Like my dad, he's a he's a he's a car lover. So growing up with my dad, he um he'd be watching NASCAR. He'd be watching a show on TV that talk about taking the engines apart. He'd be anything that had to do with cars. This man was watching all the time. And I don't, I don't even like cars like that. You know what I mean? That's just not my hobby, you know what I mean? I don't know too much about cars or nothing like that, you know what I mean? Not that I don't like them. I'm just not that interested into the hood and stuff. But my dad was always watching some of my cars. And if he wasn't watching about cars, he was out there under the hood, under the under the car, fixing something, improving something, buying a new part, you know what I mean? Putting a new exhaust on, you know what I mean? I, this man doing every paint in the car. I, car lover. You know what I mean? Bump enthusiast. He was a he's a, cars is in his blood. You know what I mean? I mean you got uh dads like that. Maybe even moms like that. Shout out to the moms who love cars, right? But role models are usually very passionate about what they do. This passion is infectious, right? You get infected like I got infected by his passion of cars. I started watching NASCAR. <laughs> It's always on, you know what I mean? And in my household, if you ain't paying bills, especially they ain't your TV, you watch whatever somebody else is watching. So, you know, so NASCAR became a little passion of mine. I'm not passionate, but infectious. I started watching them, you know. I caught myself 
having a TV to myself, and I will snap some NASCAR on. What? Nah. <laughs> I'm watching it. It's just cars going around to me, but you know, it's exciting to go. So I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna knock NASCAR. Shout out to NASCAR, my NASCAR fans. But passion, it's infectious, right? Passion is infectious and can inspire others to pursue their own interests with enthusiasm and dedication. It's this passion that often drives their success and make them stand out, right? And that's for role models, passionate in this area. This is how you stand out as a role model or stand out period. It's because they're passionate. Moving on to the next one, confidence. Confidence. Role models often exhibit a high level of self-assuredness. Self-assuredness. What's what's self-assuredness? Right? Like you sure yourself. Like I know I can do this. Right? It ain't it ain't I ain't I ain't scared because I got this in the bank. When I used to play basketball, you know what I mean, in Brooklyn. We'd be in the parks and stuff, right? I'm doing this crossover. I'm about to shoot this. And the ones who usually make the most shots, like I know I got this. You know, you 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 call your shot before it go in. Money, give me that. Change three. Kobe, R.I.P. Jordan, right? In our culture, right? We we call it right the confidence, the self assuredness. Role models believe in their abilities. Do you believe in yourself as a role model? And they're not afraid on taking on challenges. And challenges ain't easy. You know what I mean? Challenges ain't easy. Challenges, challenges are tests, trials, encounters, experiments, dares. Things that you, you, you come up against. This confidence can be encouraged, can can encourage others to believe in themselves and strive for their goals. So as a role model, I'm the example for others. You're the example for others. So with your confidence, you use all the things I'm mentioning, people see these things in you, which encourages, encourages them, inspires them, gives them that push. To believe in themselves. I'll let your boy. Moving on. Selflessness. Many role models are known for their willingness to help others. A lot of role models put others before themselves. Selfless. Helping others. Often putting others' needs before their own. And that you gotta balance that too as a role model. Like, man, I'm always going to live. Like, you find yourself like, man stressed out because you always going above and beyond for everybody else but not yourself so it's a, you gotta find a good balance and being a, a role model like i can contest it like i do everything for everybody what i'm doing for myself though like nah you know I'm, I, I need to do this for that person now you need to sit down and take a break right tend to yourself for a minute but i'm not talking about being self um i'm not talking about being selfish but knowing a good balance because it's it's important to have a good balance when it comes to being selfish and selfless, right? So this selfless behavior can inspire others to act with generosity and kindness. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really good at giving giving tips when I go out. Especially, you do a good job. You know what I mean? How does it feel to get a tip? A good, a good tip. Or even a tip at all when you, you've been busting your behind all day and you know you've been a rough day and you get that bill right there and you're like oh snap thank you for your service you had a wonderful attitude oh snap a 50 a hundo oh snap oh. i didn't tip people sometimes you know bust bust out in the tears it didn't came back like, i just had to thank you like no thank you you know what i mean you know and it's not about a hundred dollars or fifty dollars. Maybe it's your last five bucks. You know what I mean? I'm about to go buy some candy with this or whatever. No, I'm gonna give this to this person right here. They deserve it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna put my need for buying candy. You know, I don't need no candy right now. I'm gonna give it to them. 
Perseverance is next. Perseverance. Oh, let me go back. My bad. The selfless behavior can inspire others to act with generosity and kindness. Okay? So people see you do that. They're like, you know what? I'm going to do that. You know, my kids see me tip. So guess what my kids do? They tip also. Because they see me do it. They see the reaction it has on people. And sometimes we don't even see the reaction. One lady told me, like, I had to go in the back. I just cried in the back because I just needed this so bad. You know what I mean? I came back out. But I don't be waiting for them to come back. You know, I'll put the tip in there and just let it bounce. You know what I mean? Um, moving on. Perseverance. Perseverance. Role models often demonstrate a strong determination. And they never give up. Role models often demonstrate a strong determination and a, and a never give up attitude. Never give up attitude. They're able to stick with their goals despite the obstacles and the difficulties. This quality encourages others to be persistent in their own pursuits. Like this man won't stop. This woman won't stop. That role model did not stop. They don't stop until they get to their goal, no matter what's going on. You're like, dang, y'all, I want to be like that. Right? Never stop. You know, Kobe and Jordan, they, they had games where, like, man, it just didn't look like they were going to win. They had games they didn't win. But it, they didn't stop pursuing their goal to be the best of the best. Shout out to LeBron. Another one. Wisdom. Role models have wisdom. Role models often possess a deep understanding of life and its complexities. I'm going to say that again. Role models often possess a deep understanding. Not a surface level, deep understanding of life and its complexities. Right? And, they don't, and a lot of times, role models are older. But there are cases where you have a lot of young buck role models out here who got a deep understanding of what's going on in life or the life they got going on right now and the complexities of it. Yo, try growing up in the area where you got to be grown up. You can't be no kid, right? Yeah, you grew up real fast and you understand complexities real quick, right? Role models with wisdom, they have a valuable insight valuable insight this this is worth a lot they insight is worth a lot and their knowledge that they share with others so their insight and their knowledge they share with others is worth a lot the wisdom can guide others through difficult times and help them make better decisions in life the wisdom can guide others through difficult times because difficult times like they're dark times right we'd be thinking about difficult times dark time rainy cold alone right and that wisdom is just like you know go this way right here let me clear the way for you it's like that that light at the end of the tunnel right to help you make better decisions wisdom role models have wisdom not to say that role models don't do stupid things and, and, and sometimes we all make dumb mistakes and stuff but the dumb mistakes and the stupid mistakes is not frequent yeah hurt me and it's always a learning experience. Transparency. Role models. I, I, I feel like they got transparency. Word up. It's about being open and honest and clear. In your actions and communications. Right? So people can really understand. And you can really teach and be the example. Because you're transparent. Transparent. Like, imagine if you had a glass jar and you put a candy inside of it. You can see the candy right through the jar, right? That's because the jar is transparent. So now when we talk about transparency in the terms of behavior or communication, it means something very similar. For example, like going back to high school, like if your teacher is grading your assignment, Transparency means that they will explain how they're grading it. They're just not going to put the F there with no explanation. Right? And how many people got like an F with no explanation? That ain't transparent. Right? So, 
they're going to put what they're looking for, how many points each was taken off uh, for this section right here, and so forth and so on. I had them teach with a red pen, minus two over here. You know, minus one, this wasn't capitalized. Minus a half point, this is not have a period right there. Oh, you didn't put the equal sign. Half, half credit, because you didn't show your work in math. Transparency, I'm showing you why I'm taking it off, right? Similarly, if you're working in a group project, being transparent might mean openly sharing your ideas to the group. Letting the group members know uh, what tasks you're working on. Right? Being honest, if you're having trouble with something, you're running late. I'm like, I ain't do that part yet. I'm, you know, I'm running behind. Or oh, no, I ain't do that. Ownership. Right? In a broader sense, transparency is a it's a, a a critical quality in good leaders, in good companies, in governments. Transparency. You want to know what the government doing, right? What's what the heck going on? It allows people to see what's happening. And have an understanding, um, understanding the decision makers that's that's being made, and holding those in power accountable. Transparency, right? What's going on? How is it going on? Why is it going on? You know what I mean? And you know what? Everything can't be made public, but be as transparent as possible, right? These are not all the qualities of a role model, but they're some of the most influential. Right? These are the, the, the qualities that really pull people in and change people and influence people. Role models can inspire others to adapt these qualities and behaviors, making them better people and contribute to a better overall civil, civil, civilization, better universe. At the heart of every at the heart of every thriving society, organizational community we find individuals who act as role models it's simplifying values and behaviors that guide and inspire others i call these people trailblazers and, and these trailblazers touch or become the the touchstones the cornerstones that they would say for others embodying the principles that inspire respect i respect that dude because you know god you got that integrity thing going on courage humility empathy resilience passion confidence selfishness perseverance wisdom transparency right these are the things that i respect these are the things that they embody so embodying the principles that inspire people to respect you, that compel them to respect you, that that compel them to emulate you. I wanna be like that person. I wanna be like Mike, I wanna be like Kobe. To make people, to compel people to admire you. I got a part two, y'all. Part two is for my Patreon. Visit my Patreon. Um, patreon.com forward slash um, ft6 and I'm going to talk about 10 principles key principles that define such role models emulating the path to personal and collective growth from living in alignment with one's values to the consistent pursuit of knowledge and self-improvement these principles that I'm going to share on the patreon serve as a roadmap for those who aspire to be influential, to, to be an inspiration, to lead, to be a role model. Remember, being a role model comes with huge degrees of responsibilities, actions, followed by more actions, and behaviors that will significantly impact those that look up to you, that look to you, all right? So, part two, principles of a positive role model, okay? Um, thanks for tuning in. Yo, if you like what I, uh, you know, I put out here today, you know what I mean? Go ahead and press that like button. All right, make a comment below, put a like in there, you know what I mean? Share this with somebody, all right? My intention was to share uh, what I felt like a role model is, right? And the qualities of a role model from my perspective. So, 
um i did that tell me how i did and um look forward to part two on, on the patreon uh, patreon.com forward slash ft6 it's the general leaving you with love light life always peace